Salam Satare. This is a picture of me and a family member up in the north coast of Iran. We called it Shomal, right by the Caspian Sea. That's the year before I came to the United States. So I was barely 18. Like I told you, since I don't have their permission, I just covered their faces. I used to love to go up there. It was so green and beautiful. Look, that's a picture of Hajara. This is before he ever came to the United States to visit. This is again when I was, mm, I want to say maybe 17. Look, another picture of Hajala and I, and a family member and a good friend. See those on the wall? That's, that's the demo. That's what we showed people, and if they liked it, we used to sell them, sell it to them. We would ship it to them out of our factory. Yeah, it was probably around 17 there. That's Hajala and Mamani in the backyard of the house we had before I left Iran. I had beautiful roses there. That's hookah Hajala is smoking. It's water pipe. He used to smoke that every once in a while. Okay, this was the very first apartment I lived in in Norman. You know, Parkview Apartments. We lived here for just one semester during the summer of 78. That's a roommate's family member. And... Yeah, this was the very first apartment in Norman I moved to. That's me being silly. That's when I was in my 20s, early 20s. And I think that's somewhere in Dell City, Midwest City area. That's Hajala and Mamani in that same yard. This is me with some students. That was back then it was called Norman Votek, but now it's more Norman Technology Center. I couldn't get in the university. They asked me to sit out one semester because they said you're international students. So I didn't want to waste my time. So I went there, took a couple of classes in electronics. It was fun. This is right around the same time I went to that more Norman Botech. I and your grandma had gone <clears throat> to Lake Thunderbird to just walk and we grilled a little food. It was fun. Now this was my second trip to California. And Now, this is one of my most favorite places. As if the creator of the universe is telling us, look, look at this beautiful thing I've left for you. I call the creator of the universe Parvardigar. Parvardigar, for sustainer and nourisher of the earth. That's the majestic Grand Canyon. Every time I went there, I had this feeling of awe. Julie, you know what I did with your dad one time? We were driving back from California. He was really young. I didn't tell him what I was going to do. So at nighttime, he fell asleep. I went and parked the car very close to Canyon. And we slept in the car. And right when the sun was rising, I got him up. I said, come on, come on, I got something for you to see. 
So he got up and we went and saw the sunrise. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. So every time I go back and forth to California, not every time, anytime I can make time, I definitely make a stop there. It's gorgeous. That's me. And that's me standing there with a friend. That's me. I don't really remember exactly where we were. But look at that water. I love nature. the mightiest temple I'm showing you these pictures one of the reasons is I've lost some pictures and then we made some videos with your dad that I've lost most of them unfortunately so I'm doing this so in case something happens to these pictures you at least get a chance to see them but I love that Grand Canyon. So make sure you make a few trips there and just be quiet and listen and breathe in the air. I've got other pictures of Grand Canyon with Hajara that I've got in other albums, so you'll see them. This is not one of the better shots, but it just reminds me of how majestic they were. It's just so beautiful. 